everybody is having a great day. I haven't painted in a while, so I thought I'd do a painting. Just laying down a black base. And for those of you that are new, I mix my paints. It's just acrylic paint mixed with Floetrol and a little bit of bottled water for consistency. And I want my paints pretty thin. Sorry about that focus. That's why I keep my little skull right there to help with that. But it runs off pretty thin. And it just helps the paint flow. I'm just, like I said, putting a black base down. And then I have this strainer I'm gonna use to pour my paint through. It was a hair strainer for the shower drain that I just cut in half. And I'm gonna use it, those holes there to pour out of. Making sure to get a good base down. Cover my sides. And my very messy spatula here that I use to spread the paint is just a fondant spreader or ice icing spreader for the cake. But it spreads it nice and smooth. Sure, I've got on the sides, and I do have it on my lazy Susan table that I made from parts from a thrift store. And before I start laying paint down, I am going to pop the air bubbles with my torch. going to take my strainer and then I will show you the colors. I am putting a little silicone along the edge there just to help the paint flow out, not to help create cells. Just put that in the middle there. And then I have got dioxidine purple, again, mixed with Floetrol and water. And focus issue again, thank you. And then I have got this fluorescent blue, a bubblegum pink that I make, teal, and the teal I just mixed, so it's got lots of bubbles. And then champagne metallic. And we are going to start, even though there's black on the canvas, we're going to start with a little bit of black. And the black is a little heavier than the other colors, so it will help the paint flow and push it down when I put more colors in. So we're going to put a little bit of champagne and some of the dioxidine purple. And then some teal. And some of the bubblegum pink. And hopefully you can see that flowing out. Yeah. Might have to zoom in a little bit, but think it's fine for now. That's some of the fluorescent blue. Then I am going to repeat the colors. A little bit more black. Like I said, the black is a heavier pigment, so it will push the paint out more. See how it starts flowing faster? And then we're just going to repeat in the same sequence. Some of the champagne. And the purple. And 
feel. Pink. Fluorescent blue. Now, the problem with doing strainer pours is the middle doesn't have the same design as the rest. So you kind of have to make your own design before you stretch it. But we are going to do one more layer with the black. Champagne and purple. Purple seems to be a little thicker than the other colors. At least it's pouring like it is. You want to try to get all your paints the same exact consistency. Um, these I mixed yesterday, so they've been sitting overnight. But thickened up a little bit, and I probably should have played closer attention to that. Teal. It, and I just spilt it all over myself. <laughs> Which I'm not the cleanest painter, as you can tell by my paint splatters everywhere. And then we got some more pink. moving the colors out of my way as I go so I don't make even more of a mess. A little bit of the blue and end it with the black. Gonna let it flow there for a minute. Now I am gonna turn my table just to see if it helps it flow some. This is not level because it is all running to this side more. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off before I take it off. I'm gonna swirl it and then I am going to take one of my popsicle sticks and I'm gonna swirl that middle area too. There is a lot of paint in that middle area. But I just wanna swirl the colors in. It's just to help give it a design in the middle. And then I am going to give it a torch and we're going to spin it. Okay, so I'm going to move back a little bit. big bubbles. Yeah, it is. We're just going to keep spinning. So sorry if you're getting dizzy.
give it one more torch. bubbles are not popping and it might be this the fact that I just mix those paints that one color but we will mess with it a little bit more and I want to play with this middle area some I am going to tilt it this way just a little to get it more centered And then I will mess with that middle area. And I'm going to also blow out these edges over here. Excuse my big head. Okay, and then I'm going to see what I can do with that middle area. Excuse my head again. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I'm going to give it one last torch. And we're going to call it done. Be right back with the close up. Okay, just bringing you in for a close up. 
There is the bottom right corner. Um, I only use silicone on that strainer to help the paint flow. So the cells that are caused is from the paint consistency, bottom left corner, and from using that one metallic, when metallics mixed in with other colors, or metallics on their own too, can cause some really cool cells and lacing. Top left corner, that big group right there, and the top right corner. And when you also blow things out, you're adding air into the paint, so that can help cause cells. And then here is the middle area that I mixed in, kind of looks like a galaxy in that middle area. But let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you have any requests or suggestions, please let me know, and I will work on that for you. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Take care.